Okay, so welcome to my video on multiplying negative numbers. And before I get started on some examples, first I want to go over all of the different possibilities that can happen. And the first thing I want to talk about is when you multiply one negative number and one positive number. Right, let's take a look at this first example right here. Um, if you multiply a negative number times a positive number, you get a negative answer. Okay, a negative times a positive is going to be a negative. And another example of one positive and one negative is when you multiply a positive number times a negative number. A positive times a negative is also going to give you a negative answer. So that's something you need to remember. When you multiply one positive number and one negative number, you're going to get a negative answer. Um, so now let's talk about what happens when you multiply two negative numbers. A negative times a negative is going to give you a positive answer. You could say that the negatives cancel each other out and you get a positive answer. Uh, but just remember that a negative times a negative is going to give you a positive answer. And obviously this is something you've done before. A positive times a positive is going to give you a positive answer. Two positive numbers being multiplied is going to give you a positive answer. Um, so these are all the different possibilities uh, that you need to know before you get started on some examples. So having said that, let's get started right away. So let's get started with an easy example. Let's say we have the numbers positive 3 multiplied by positive 5. You probably already know how to multiply positive numbers. Positive 3 times positive 5 is equal to positive 15. Um, but let's say we have negative 3 times positive 5. Okay, we have a negative number being multiplied by a positive number. So this is like our first example, a negative times a positive. And we know that this is going to give us a negative answer. So instead of positive 15, our answer is going to be negative 15. So let's go over another example. Let's say we have a positive 3 times a negative 5. This is another example where we have one positive number and one negative number. So we have a positive times a negative, so we know that our answer is also going to be negative. So once again, our answer is not going to be positive 15, but it's going to be negative 15. So let's go over one more example. Uh, let's say we have a negative 3 times negative 5. So notice how we have a negative number being multiplied by another negative number. This is like our third example, a negative times a negative. So we know that our answer is going to be positive. Okay, our answer is going to be positive. So our answer is going to be a positive 15. So I hope this gave you a better idea on how to multiply negative numbers. In my next video, I'm going to talk about dividing negative numbers, so stay tuned. So I hope you're enjoying these videos, and I will see you in my next one.